What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I'm going to be sharing how to dominate the 1v1 pit in COD World War II. This video is all about racking up as many wins as possible and getting yourself on a win streak so you end up climbing the leaderboards more effectively. The tips I'm going to be sharing today are actually from one of the top 1v1 players in the world right now. His name is Jiraiva, he's one of my friends, he's got over 2,000 wins with a 95 win percentage in the 1v1 pit. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. But he actually taught me how he wins his 1v1s and this is an extremely effective strategy. Keep in mind, like I said, this is more so just about getting yourself on a win streak and getting those wins as consistently as possible. It's not necessarily about just hopping in and having a good time. And as a result of this, the first tip that I have for you guys is typically try to ban the third choice out of the weapons that you're allowed to use. The third choice of this is always something that's a little bit silly. So like a bazooka, for instance, or a shovel, or a pistol, or something along those lines, and it just makes things a lot more inconsistent. If you get a shovel, for instance, a lot of the times when you're playing with a shovel, it just comes down to who has the better connection, rather than who the better player is, and therefore that might end up being a loss for you. Generally, you want to be playing with the first two choices. Now, the strategy I'm going to be sharing with you guys is very simple, and it does rely on you having good sound. So a headset is really good for this. If you have a headset, great. This is going to be super easy for you. If you don't have a headset, you might want to crank up whatever speakers you have, and you should still be able to get the sound cue that you need. So when it comes to the first kill, you pretty much just have to get that first kill for yourself. You have to go and find the enemy player and get that kill. This one is the most difficult kill to get. Once you get the first kill, it's basically game over. Because we're actually going to be manipulating the spawns a little bit with this technique. So I can't really help you out too much with that first kill. It's something you've just got to be able to get by yourself. Make sure you're using cover effectively, pre-aiming where you think they might be. And like I said, if you have a headset, you should be able to hear their footsteps if they're moving around. But try to find them, get that first kill. As soon as you get the first kill, get yourself to these middle barrels right here. This is the area you want to control for the remainder of this 1v1. Now the way the spawns work in the 1v1 pit is they're always going to spawn in one of the corners. And if we split the 1v1 pit in half, the side that you're currently on when the enemy spawns, the enemy will never spawn on that side of the map. So if you put yourself up towards these barrels on one of these sides, they'll never spawn behind you. They'll always spawn in one of the corners in front of you, which means they're either going to spawn to the left or to the right. This is where sound comes in. If you have a decent headset, or like I said, you just crank up those speakers, whatever speakers you happen to have, you should be able to tell if they spawn on the left side or the right side, because when you spawn in in this game, you actually make a little bit of a sound, like you're switching to your weapon. This is something that's completely unavoidable, so it's not something that the enemy player can cancel out or do anything like that. It's always going to make a sound when the enemy spawns, and if you catch that little sound cue, then you're pretty much set, because you have a position of advantage that they can't shoot through with these barrels here, and you could be pre-aimed and just ready for them. Also keep in mind, you can easily spray through that wood that they have for cover, and that's the only cover that they have. So even if you see them go into the corner there, you can just spray through that plywood and get the kill on them, with a lot of the guns in the game at least. And really, this is pretty much it. That is the technique. It's really straightforward, really simple, and once you get the hang of it, you'll just be dominating the 1v1 pit. All it takes is getting that first kill, and then you're set. Now just a heads up as a counter to this spot, just in case you notice somebody's doing this to you, there is one really effective way that you can use to counter this. First off, if you are ahead in kills by the time he gets that first kill on you, then you could just sit back in the corner and he has to come to you in order to win that 1v1. But that's kind of a boring way. Instead, if you can make it to one of the barrel areas on the sides of the map, then you've evened the odds a little bit in that situation. It does force you to cross an open area here, so if he does have a really good shot, you're kind of screwed and you're going to be losing that. But with most players, if you jump across that open area really, really quickly, you can get behind those barrels and now it's a 50-50 fight. So hopefully these little tips will allow you to go on those win streaks a lot more effectively. It kind of opened my eyes the moment Drive I showed me this. It really opened my eyes to this and I started going on win streaks like crazy as soon as I found out about this. It's super simple. You'll never be wondering where the enemy is after you get your first kill and you'll have complete control over the 1v1 pit. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. I'd like to know in the comment section below what other tips you guys have for the 1v1 pit in COD World War II. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.